Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 4, lesson 5 Divide Greater Numbers. Page number is 277. Okay, in this lesson, we'll divide the greater numbers like this. This is the dividend and the divisor. We have two digits in the divisor, so we take only two digits. But here, the first two digits, they are less than the divisor, so we take three digits together. So we have to find out 75 times what is equal to 225 or less than that. So we know that 75 times 3 is equal to 225. When we minus, we get 0. Then we bring the next 0 down. 75 times 0 is equal to 0. And 0 minus 0 is 0. Then we bring the last 0 down. So 75 times 0 is 0. And 0 minus 0 is 0. So the remainder is 0. And the quotient is 300. Okay, here. Now we have to divide 152. The divisor is 152 and the dividend is 46,534. Okay, we'll take three digits because we have three digits in the divisor. 152 times 3 is 456, which is close to and less than the first three digits. When you minus, you get 9. Okay. Now we bring the 3 down and still it's less than <clears throat> the divisor. So we need another digit down. There are two ways, guys. The first one, you multiply it by 0. 152 times 0 is equal to 0 and then you minus, okay, and bring the next number down. Or the other way, just write a 0 and bring the 4 down to skip this step, these two lines. Okay, so you directly, you have 93, you write a 0 and bring this 4 down. Now, 152 times 6 is 912. When you minus, you get 22, which is less than the divisor. So, the quotient is 306, the remainder is 20. Okay, what is the missing number here? 25 times 1, 25 times 2 is 50. We can't take that, it's 47. When you minus 22, you bring the 8 down. 25 times what is equal to 225? So times 9 is 225. Then you minus 3 and this is how they solve it. The next page is independent practice, guys. I will show you the solution. Uh, but you have to solve all these questions on the independent practice by yourself. Okay. These are the answers for these questions. Okay, boys. You have to solve all these questions in this way by yourself and then match your answers through this video. This one for question 5, this one for question 6, and for question 7, here is the answer. This is 936. For 8, for 9, and this is for question 10. 66 remainder, 378. And the last three questions here, you have to solve them all by yourself and then match your answers through this video. Okay, a farmer plows a corn field in the shape of a rectangle that has an area of 15,840. And if the length of the field is 132 yards, what is the width? So you know that area is equal to length times width. So you have the length. You want to find the width. So divide it. 
okay when you divide them you'll get 120 yards which is width an average person speaks 35,000 words in one week does the average person speak more or less than 2,500 words per day how many days we have each week seven days so you divide 35,000 by seven and you get 5,000 words so it means more than 2,500 an athletic department raised $14,532 to buy a new football uniform if each uniform costs this much so you divide them you will get 56 and remainder 85 so they can buy 56 uniforms and $85 left over they need another 173 with this 85 to buy one more uniform because each uniform costs 258 so 85 plus 173 equals 258 <clears throat> uh, find the unknown number in the equation this one you divide them and you get it 36 how can I divide greater numbers using standard procedure? I can divide any number by following the same steps and repeating them until I get the question. I hope guys you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day.